I passed out again. Total metabolic failure brought on by acute hypoglycemia. I'm not eating enough. So an IV back and I'm good to go. <laughs> 540. Guess you were thirsty. We're going to need to fashion you a new diet based on your metabolic changes. I've done a few calculations. You need to consume an amount equal to roughly 850 tacos. Unless we're talking cheese and guac, which is like a whole other set of equations. For Mexican, I recommend Tito's. On Bruckner Avenue, best burrito in the city. Detective West, what brings you to Star Labs? When I couldn't find you at your lab, I started doing a little research. Turns out there's been reports of a red streak around the city, stopping muggers, rescuing people from burning buildings. You didn't tell him we were working together. Joe, I can explain. You already have a job in law enforcement, Barry. I suggest you get back to it. Mm-hmm. Don't look at me. I'm on your side. Detective. We all want what's best for Barry. If you wanted what was best for Barry, you'd try to talk him out of this lunacy instead of encouraging him going out there risking his life. You saw a man control the weather. What are the police going to do against someone like that? Uh, since the accelerator explosion, we suspect there may be more like him. And you're going to do what? Catch them? Are you insane? You think because you can run real fast that you're invincible? You're not. You're just a kid. My kid. I'm not your kid, Joe. And you're not my father. My father's sitting in Iron Heights, wrongfully convicted. You were wrong about him. And you're wrong about this. Now, I may not be able to help him, but if I can save someone from a burning building or stop some armed thieves, I'm gonna do it. And you can't stop me. So don't try. You think you're so smart? All of you. But you don't know what you don't know. And I hope that you're clever enough to figure it out before somebody gets killed. <laughs>